Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, June 4th, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So there was quite a lot of action in the market today. You can see there was a lot of movement in these uh, five currency pairs that we are going to look at, especially as the US dollar appreciated significantly or US dollar index appreciated significantly. And that, of course, had major effects on these currency pairs. So let's start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have fallen quite a bit. We're down 0.46% at this current stage, broken below the 40 exponential and heading towards the 40, 20 exponential and heading towards the 40 exponential down here. So yesterday I said that technically indicators were turning around. They are definitely turning around in the daily chart at this current stage. MACD is very bearish. The RSI is very bearish. The same for CCI and Stochastic. And it looks like we are going to head towards the bottom of the, the Bollinger Band here, which is roughly at the 40 exponential. So we'll probably bounce from there. If we break below the 40, then we have the 50 and, and the 100 that have offered massive resistance uh, support in the past. So... This was kind of expected uh, breakdown at this point, but it doesn't mean that we are going to change the trend or anything. It probably means that we'll pull back and then we retested these previous highs. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. As you can see, we have broken significantly. We're trading at 110, 311 at this point, way below this uh, previous resistant barrier. And at this current stage, it looks like we are going to target these very highs here. If we manage to break both that, then we are going significantly higher. So, yes, if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is very bullish. The RSI is overbought at this point and also very bullish. CCI is bullish. The stochastic is turning around there. Still hasn't crossed the signal line, but it is becoming bullish. But we are at the top of this range. So, it may well be that we will see a pullback a rally and then a pullback very similar to what we saw here as we are significantly outside of the bullish band and we are approaching the previous or the previous highs over here. So the way this, this has been moving is that it has rallied up towards the top of the bullish band, broken down, rally, broken down and so on. So that is still be seen to buy it at this current stage is um, fairly uh, risky. So let's look at the euro US dollar. Also, here has dropped significantly. We're down 0.66%. And technically, indicators, all of them are turning around um, at this current stage. So we may fall towards the bottom of the bullish band. That's not a massive drop from where we are at the moment. That is down towards the 50 moving average and a drop of minus 0.25% to the downside. That has been previous resistant support in the past. You can see it here. And so has the um, 150, 100, and 200 that's just underneath. So don't expect this to fall apart, but a pullback is happening at this moment, and momentum is definitely to the downside. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. This completely fell apart, broke way below the 150 moving average, and it looks like we are heading towards a 200 moving average. But Pullbacks at this or rallies at this point could be expected as we are significantly overstretched here in the bullish band. We're approaching oversold uh, conditions and uh, we're also approaching the 200 moving average. So if we were to drop even further, then we'll probably uh, bounce from the 200 moving average. We're also approaching the previous lows over here. We can see it right there. This area here is roughly where the 200 moving average is and also where we've found massive uh, support in the past. So, yes, we could draw from here and then rally a break below the 200 moving average that opens the door all the way down to the 300 moving average. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. So finally, it has rallied. We're up a 0.60% to the outside. And... Um, at this current stage, we are running into resistance at the 20 exponential. If we break above there, then we'll probably hit the top of the bullish band, roughly at 0.25% to the upside. That's just underneath the 40 exponential moving average. Otherwise, the indicators are all turning around at this point. It's a lot of room to the upside. If we uh, were to break down, then 
of course, this support line will most likely hold as it has been holding for uh, several weeks now. To the upside, we could head all the way up towards the 50 moving average, and that's a rally of roughly 1.26% to the upside. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel. Subscribe and hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.